Hello friends, welcome back to e-commerce project in Laravel 10. Last video we were discussed about status. Suppose you are changing the status and we are sending email to users. In this video we can cover as a customer list. Because of here you can see it like some customer showing, some guest order showing, some registration order showing. So we need to show like a customer list here. So we need to create a new menu here like a customers and customer inside we need to show all the customers. Suppose I am going to database. So here you can see it like user tables. User tables inside you can see it we have user type like is admin. Is admin inside you can see it like a 111 means is a admin. 00 means is a customer. So only 0 record we need to show here inside a customer menu. So we can start. Before we can start you are new in the channel otherwise in the series. So please subscribe and please press the bell icon. So whatever content we are uploading so always get the notification and you can start immediately new thing learning and also do you want to buy any script just go to our website errorsolutioncode.com and you can see it here and you can buy it we have already done inside a youtube this is the script here available okay and also do you want to develop any freelancer work just contact telegram whatsapp and skype so let's start like a customer list so after admin we need to create a new menu as a customers so let's make a zoom out resources views admin inside you can see it layout inside you can see it like a added.blade.php and just scroll down so here you can see it some menu there like a dashboard admin customers like this sorry admin there so just copy admin menu and you can put here after you can change here like admin to customers next one we can change here like customer list and here also you can make segment is equal to customer because of we need to add an active class suppose we are open the menu so we need to show active class this is the reasons now we need to create a new routes just go to routes inside you need to go web.php and just scroll down so here you can see the admin controller there like color controller there discount all control there but we don't want to create a new controller for the customer just we can use directly admin controller so just copy these routes and put here and here we can like this list so here you can change like customer list okay so admin controller inside we need to create a new function as a customer list because of only one route or two or maximum three routes available for the customer this reason i don't want to create a new controller so what do you want to create so you can create okay like customer list let's go to app http controller inside admin inside you can see it admin controller.php so here we need to create a new function customer list and just go up and you can copy for the admin routes like a admin list this one and just scroll down and here you can put and here you can change like a customer admin to customer And also you can change here customer because we need to create a new folder this is the reasons okay and new folder inside we can create a new file list.blade.php so let's go to resources inside need to go to admin inside you can create a new folder customers customer inside we can create a new file list.blade.php Once file created, after you can go to again admin, instead you can see it like list.blade.php means list.blade.php file, just copy and you can put inside a customer. Like here is a customer inside list.blade.php and just paste here. Okay. Let's refresh the page so we can check it's working, not working. So I just go back again. I refresh the page. So here you can see it like customer menu. I click here. So admin customer.list is not working because of we ever not save this file you can see it here there's a not save this file this is the results otherwise no any reasons okay let's go back then refresh the page so you can see admin list so just we can change to customer and first we need to create a customer function here like a get admins so we need to create a users model inside a another function get customers just go to here's here there is a get, get admin just copy paste and you can change here like a get customers
and also here is the is admin is equal to you can put like a zero okay now you can go back and you can change here get admin to get customers let's go back again refresh the page so you can see name is changed because of we have already is a test data this is here showing the test data okay let's go to back again list.blade.php here you can change like customer list admin to customers and we have no any add file this reason remove here also you can change customer list also we have no any edit file so just to leave it delete delete same as work as a admin because of same table there so we don't want to change anything and delete already done you can see it admin side is a read functions you can see it so we don't want to do any redirect back so automatic works okay so it's good let's go back again refresh the page here and now we can go to our database and whatever missing here we need to add so we have no anything missing just name email is there so everything is good data is already there and uh, email verify at passwords is deletes everything is available here you can see it but we can add like another column like created dates otherwise everything there created dates and just you can put it after status another column created at and we can change the format date y m sorry date month y date month and y and we need a like a time also so we can put it st str2 timer and here you can put it your dates let's go back again refresh the page so here you can also see it like a dates so it's working very well we have no issue and here is a, you can you know about the world testing data and suppose i can remove this one so you can see admin successfully removed we can change records successfully deleted we don't want to write like admin so both sides look like a professional this reason here you can change record successfully deleted okay let's go back again and now i can try another remove so you can see the records are deleted it is working very well let's here add a filter like a name and email wise also make a filtering okay here already write like that is active means zero and one means inactive so this is the already done and this is the here do you want to add a new feature so just you can add it and after you can do it i don't want to do just i show like this because this is the simple work you also learn and you can do it your end okay so my side this is the done but we can add a like a filtering so just go to order list means uh, here order order list and i will copy all the filtering work here like a form let's minimize so i can do it very good way like here okay i just copy and i am going to back list.blade.php in our side and i can put here let's go back again refresh the page so we can check so is the filters available now we need to remove like rest of filters we don't need and just go back again we can leave it like a uh, from date to dates and also we need to remove like phone number state emails emails you can leave it and just you can leave it like a uh, names here only company not there id also there leave it okay and here you can change like customer search let's go back again refresh the page so you can see one line here is a reset button we can change to customer list just scroll down here you can change okay here is already there like a request to get data so automatic already there we don't want to work anything we don't need a last name just remove okay one minutes uh, we have removed another will like emails we have removed let's change here like a last name to emails it's very simple very easy no any difficulty suppose you are follow the series so you know what i am doing okay here you can change also name here is the id for the customer id here is the name to names and email to email from red to dates now we need to show here totals so we know okay filtering working not working because of counting 
so just go to back again order list and you can copy this code like this very simple total get orders total because of already there here pagination suppose i'm going to get orders so you can see sorry get records so you can see it here okay so it's working very well let's go back again refresh the page here and i can fill here let me check one error there i think so because of we have not used here a pagination but we need to use here pagination so just go to user.blade.php and here you can make like a paginate like at 30 okay and after we can go to list.blade.php and we need to add here pagination so just go to back again list.blade.php inside orders and you can copy this line uh, okay i also forgot here add a pagination's let me check any other place we have did like discount code inside we have did okay customer list inside or color list inside we have did okay i think we have did inside products so let's go to products so list.blade.ph here there is pagination you can see to so just copy and you can put inside list also you can put inside order order list because of we have already did pagination but we have forgot to add here just copy and paste no need to do anything else okay so customer inside done also order inside done let's refresh the page so you can see it's working very well so i'm going to orders so also working very well let's go to customer and we can make pagination only two so just go to user.blade.ph sorry user.php file means user model and just put here two after refresh the page so you can see it here is a pagination so it's working very well you see okay so pagination work is done now we need to work as a filter so just you can use request here first okay let's scroll down and we need to write our coding here so first we need to create a variable and here you can put it And after we need to return for this variable let's refresh the page so we can check error there cannot there i refresh the page inside customer list so error is not there here also showing the totals okay now i search 10 so here you can see it also showing here is the id name email from and to simple you need to go to back again order models and order models inside into copy so we can do it very quick so just id so i just copy to id to id here like request get id and here is a return inside id there database column name so automatic works next one we can copy like from and two dates just scroll down you can copy and you can put here so from date and to date also can work like you can see it here created at less than is equal to and greater than is equal to means greater than is equal to and here is a less than from means start and two means end okay save this file now last one is remaining about like a like so you can copy as a first name and after you can change every place to first name to name like here you can change name also you can change your name and this is the like so you can leave it directly also last one is remaining like email so just copy and paste and here you can change like a emails and also you can change name to emails okay let's go back again refresh the page so we can check it's working or is working very well because of filtering here then let's reset and i just add a emails like this so it's working also add a test here so i think all record found because of all data is a testing data now here i can choose like a march 13th only and from so is showing like all data but i will stop here okay i need to get like a march 14 only so here need to show only three records i search here so you can see three records also you can see it here count three okay so in this video i explain how to list as a customer so, means admin side so we have done also we have done like a filter so but you want to search you can search and uh, here is a lots of features possible to available but we can do step by step now next video we can show inside dashboard because i need to complete first admin panel after i need to work as a front side so next video we can show it like a count okay to, what is total today order 
this month order and uh, we can create like designs and then in another video we can create for the dynamic also i can show like this like a chart so look like a professional okay so this month this you get this month this you get and also we can show here like the latest orders we can do it like this and we can remove some we don't need and also we can use notification is a like big project but taking time to one by one i can show you step by step okay and uh, last video i discussed we can work like a home screen but i am decided let's sort out customer list so i can show you like a dashboard work also this is the reasons because i need to cover step by step let's finish first admin panel after we can work front side and after we can close these projects and thank you for watching error solutions